did you report what happened back to Breezy? Breezy know because we, I let Breezy, like, we let each other know. The reason why we let each other know is because, like, say about me killing an ROD dude, if I don't let them know that, then they're going to just be slipping, just sitting around not knowing that we just killed somebody, and them dudes could just come up and start shooting without them knowing. That's how Percy got shot, because he ain't knowing everything that's going on, and he just got caught slipping. But that's why we, like, let each other know, like, man, listen, bro, I just done this. You better be, like, have heads up them dudes liable to be coming back. With the ROD, did they sell drugs too? Yeah, they sold drugs, but I never served them or nothing like that. You said white boy Dave? Yeah, white boy Dave. Why did you need white boy Dave to buy you a gun? Because my gun had just got, my gun got caught in the car with rat, with baby when baby got killed. And I couldn't just go to the people and be like, man, give me another gun. Because I already had two choppers in my name that the people took. Two AKs in my name that the people took. And I wasn't about to chance them having like, heads up like, man, why I keep on buying them big guns like that? So I let a white boy do it because they don't look at white boys as doing no bad things. So I told the white boy like, man, look, when I tell you what gun it is, then you get it. So I got the best gun that was in there. So did you use the carbon or the Keltec? What, on the, on the ride or die thing you were just describing? I use a carbon 15. And what did Ashton Price use? He used Breezy Keltec 223. Did y'all ever use those guns in other crimes? Yeah, we used it in a lot of, that was our powerful guns. Which one, both of them? Both of them. Did the carbon, do you know any other crimes you use it in? Yeah, what, did I use it in or as a group? Or as a group? Well, as a group, yeah, I used it. I used it on Plucky, Calvin, Celestine. I used it on, well, Ray used it. Ray used it on the one by the courthouse with Jamal and Lester. Rat used a 223 by the courthouse too, with Lester when him and Ray done that. Let me ask, did both of these guns, what kind of ammunition do they fire? 223 rounds. I want to go back to January of 2010. Do you remember when Daryl Franklin shot Bernard Causey? Yeah, I was a driver. Describe to the jury what happened there. Bernard Causey. He was playing games, two sides of the field. He was trying to sneak something. Sneak something mean that he was trying to play two sides of the field and he was hanging with the desire. So we knew that he was hanging with the desire and he was going to try to get Breezy. So I told Breezy like, man, we're going to kill that nigga. I said, as soon as he come up around thinking sweet, we're going to get him. So I called him asking him where he at. He like, he on a bus. He about to be down there. And I heard him tell the bus driver like, man, let me out right here. So that mean the bus about to drop him off right by the strip because he on the Louisa bus. So we jump in the car. We jump in the car with the 223. I'm like, Breezy, let me get him. I'm like, I want to just let him put his head in the car and I just want to knock his head off and we gonna pull off. And Breezy like, no nah, man, because you know, they could be doing a forensic in the car and it's gonna, I'm like, man, we're gonna get away with it. We can just clean the car up. So Breezy like, no, nah, I want to show him I got him. I got him. So we riding up the street, just prolonging until he walk up the street. When he walked up the street, we pull up on him, Breezy like, instead of him just shooting him first and talk to him while he down, he talked to him before so the dude kicked the door on him because Breezy like, you know what time of day it is. So the dude kicked the door on him and took out running and Breezy shot like 20 something times like to kill him. But he hit him, but he didn't fall down and Breezy run back to the car. And Bernard called my phone and Breezy, he like, man, what's that about? And Breezy like, you know what type of day it is. So he was in the hospital with the police when he called my phone. So the next day, the people came ran in Breezy Mama house and ran in the girl house across the street looking for both of us. But I was wanted for questioning. Breezy was wanted for that. Because when Breezy turned himself in and bond out, when I was in the court, they were saying like, man, yeah, little Greg pulled up on me and Breezy done it to me. So I walked out the courtroom because I know I'm Gregory and I was the one who pulled up on him. I didn't want, you know. But by Breezy, by Breezy getting, by Breezy getting Rick to pay for it, Rick, he paid Rick money for it. Gregory, let me interrupt you. What gun did Breezy fire at Bernard Causey? The 223 is Keltec 223. That was Breezy's gun? Yeah. And that was the same gun y'all used with Ashton Price on the ROD guy? Yes. You mentioned Lester Green and Jamal Smith a second ago. How did you know Jamal Smith? We went to school together. We went to Douglas together, high school. And what neighborhood was Jamal from? 
the Calliope. Did the 3MG guys like T-Red or Rat? Did they ever tell you about the Calliope guys? Yeah. AP had got killed and Red used to always tell me like, Man, I want I want that boy Ma, man, you know. Who was AP? He off 3rd and G. That's one of the Rat and them partner. They believed that Maul had killed AP? Yeah. So what happened the day that Maul and Lester got shot? What happened that day? Uh-huh. Well, I was bringing Nelly. I was bringing Nelly to the probation place and, you know, we sitting there waiting for him because we don't want to leave, you know. We just waiting for him right there. And who was with you? And what Nelly? Who is Nelly? Parnell Watts. He out G-strip. Who was with you when you brought Nelly to probation? Leroy, Evans. It was Leroy. He was driving. Evans was in there with me. It was a lot of us in the car to tell you the truth. I really... It was me, Evans, Leroy. Um, I tell you what, I'll come back to it. What happened at the probation office? Well, I seen Maul get out the car when Nelly got out the car. And I told Nelly, I said, man, listen, hold Maul up. Because Nelly know Maul too, because Maul was hanging in the ninth ward too. I'm like, hold that boy up. I'm about to go get red and them to kill that boy. So Nelly like, all right, cool. I'm like, don't let him leave. So where the courthouse at, it ain't too far from 3rd and G. It's, I'd say, like, probably like three minutes to max to get over there. So I got over there. When I got over there and I pulled, who was driving? Leroy. Okay. And where exactly did y'all drive to? Drive to the park, Taylor Park by 3rd and G. Okay. What happened when you got there? When we pulled up there, I opened the door and I'm like, man, Red, we got that boy Maul. So they was happy and it was like, man, yeah? I'm like, yeah. And me and Pound had already stashed the guns up there from the last incident we had. So he like, yeah. I'm like, man, come on. We about to go get him right now. So him and him and Rat jumped in the car. And where did you all get the guns? They went and got the guns from out the alley right down the street. And these are the same two guns you and Pound had used in the ride or die shooting? Yes. What did y'all do next? We went to the courthouse. When we went to the courthouse, Nelly was standing there with him. So Leroy pulled up with the van we in. It's a red van and got tent on the back windows. But you know, the passenger side and the driver's side window, you could see. You could see it because it ain't tenant because it's a rental. So when we pull up, we already got the passenger side, the seat empty already because we don't want them to slide the door open and they see, and he see red and rat in there and he gonna know what's up. So we ain't know Sean. We didn't know Sean was there. Sean is out to strip too. So he wanted a ride too. So he, Sean got in the car and Nelly got in the car from the passenger side instead of opening the door. So I'm like, man, dude gonna know what's up. But he didn't. So when we pulling off, you know, he like put his deuces up, like saying he gonna holler at us. And Leroy, who put his deuces up? Maul. And what does put your deuces up mean? That mean he gonna holler at you. He like done that, like he is saying, I'm gonna holler at you. So Leroy hit the horn on him. Like saying, you know, instead of putting his hands up, he hit the horn like, all right. So we pulled off. When we pulled off, we pulled off right by like half a block down, right across from the street from the courthouse. So when we sitting there, we waiting for him to jump in his car. He waiting for his ride. When he pull up, or well, his ride pull up in an Acura. And when the car pull up, he jumped in the car. So I'm like, there that boy go. He jumping in the car. So he pull off past us. We ride behind him. When we get by the split, Rat was like, Rat was like, man, what you want to do? Because we in a van, we in a van that, it's an out-of-town van. An out-of-town van, you know, they got two license plates. It ain't like no Louisiana car. You know, a Louisiana car, it just got one plate. An out-of-town car, they got two plates. One at the front and one at the back. So, you know, we really like scared to really pull this off because we ride by the courthouse around all the police. So I'm like, man, f it. Man, we about to just make history. We about to pull this off. So I'm like, man, wild out. So we pull up on the side of it, right and red jump out. When they jump out, the guns ain't shoot because they was on safety. In my carbon, when you empty the clip in there and you fill it back up, you got to cock the guns two times because they pull like that. It's like a gun that be in the store, like a dollar store or something like a plate gun. So the guns ain't shoot. So Rat took his off safety quick. The girl jumped out and took out running. When the girl took out running, if she never took out running, she was gonna catch everything, but she jumped out. By being on safety, she jumped out and took out running. So Rat started shooting through the windshield. So I'm telling Red like, man, listen, 
you got to cock it one more time and then try. So he cocked it one more time. Then it was on from there. They just start shooting, shooting. When they start shooting, like, I'm like, man, come on, man. Because the police right down the street, the police doing detail. I'm like, man, come on, man. The people about to be coming. So they still shooting. When we jumped in the van, we got back on Tulane and then we got to Jeff. I think that's Jeff Davis or something like that. One of them. It's a red light. We made the left and went by Xavier and stashed the guns by Vito. 